Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. We're going to be looking at GameStop, we're going to be looking at the reverse repo number, but then we're going to be going through some DD on Reddit that shows the hedge funds did not close or did not cover their positions back when they said, in fact, they have expanded their positions, which just shows that the MOAS is more inevitable than even we thought uh, weeks and months ago. So what has GameStop done today before we get anything else? Uh, GameStop is at $201.16 a share, down 2% on the day, which which isn't too bad. Start of the day at around about a hundred, uh, two hundred and seven dollars uh, and forty six cents. Uh, kind of up and down, going between two hundred three and two hundred seven again. And then at about half two, power hour started to drop quite a bit and is now at two hundred and one dollars and sixteen cents. And it looks like we are going to be on a bit of a down day, but that is fine because we don't care about the stock price in the short term or even the medium term. It's the long term. That's the play here. So what was the reverse repo number done? Well, you can see here Friday, uh, the deal date is the 27th of August. We have a reverse repo number of $1.12 trillion. So that is not the highest of all time, but it's still getting pretty much up there. Possibly one of the top five numbers. I think it is the top five. So let's get on to the main point of the video this is some dd by user on reddit that shows citadel's positions uh known as dark pool guy actually before we get into this can you please give a like on the video um and if i don't deserve a like then don't give me a like give me a dislike and let me know what i can do better in the comments down below but i think this is some pretty damn good information here so dark pool guy here to say citadel has reported a net increase in aum assets under management as of 211 billion 172 million 504,218 dollars in the first half of 2021 did i say that correctly i think i did uh so what happened there well if we open up these two uh documents that have been shown here the first one is as of december 31st 2021 the advisors have approximately uh, 33 billion uh, 97 million and 91,000 assets under management now if we just go back here and then have a look at number two you can see this is another document sec gov and it has here the discretionary amount 200 and 44 billion 269 million five hundred and ninety five thousand two hundred and eighteen dollars so that is the increase of what i said before which is over 211 billion uh, how is this increase done well if they have continued shorting shares then they would pocket the money and um, they would take the money in that would increase their aum because they would expect it to pay back later but that is why it's increasing Right guys, uh, just a quick video there. I think this one's really good, really telling. Also, I just want to say that we uh, had our first Patreon, LucasGHGF. Thank you very much for subscribing. Hopefully, uh, you can get other subscribing. Who's going to be lucky number two? Anyway, thank you very much, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time.